What's up, y'all? We're going to be doing some Advanced King in Premiere Pro, and we're going to be using this. Let's get into it. Now we have Premiere Pro open. Now let's open up the sequence. Now, this is the original footage right here. And I'm going to be able to make it to where you can do this with it. I want you to take a closer look at this because the colors here can be changed to your liking. Maybe not entirely, but you can do some color manipulation using, using the colors we have in this shot. Because we have green and we have blue. And we're going to use the blue for the key as well as the green. But we'll be doing something a little bit different with this uh, purple here because it's too close to the blue and we want to be able to key this purple out on its own. So let's get into it. Well, this is our clip. And the first thing we're going to do is look, uh, search for the ultra key. And we're going to key out the purple. Now, when we do that, we also end up keying out the, the shirt as well because the colors are too close. So you can see you got the purple and the light blue, the light purple and light blue. So what we're going to do now is we're going to we're going to try to get something we want with the green and we're not going to worry about the purple right now. So let's bring the transparency all the way back. Oh, we already got something we want right here. Now, the purple is looking a little bit strange. Now this is what we're going to do about the purple. Since this is a flat piece, we can easily mask around this. Now masking in Premiere is pretty terrible because it tends to be really, really slow. Now the solution to this could be to send this clip over to After Effects and you can get this done in a couple minutes. But here in Premiere, it'll take you a while to mask this all out. And we're not going to go into the opacity, we're going to go here. And we're going to mask it out within the key, ultra key. So we're basically telling the program that we're trying to key everything but this piece right here, but this purple piece. Okay. So we're going to mask it. Now we're going to invert this so that the key remains, but it doesn't, you know, it doesn't stay here. The key is not happening on this piece right here. And if you go through the footage, we're going to have to mask it and we're going to have to key everything. Now, for the sake of this example, I'm just going to import. Now, I went through and did the masking. So this is what we got. Now, we got purple. We got the we got the green and we also got the green background. So this is what we're going to do. With the board, we can key it. Because it's, you know, it's blue so we can do the keying here and we can really mess with this in order to you know completely remove all of the we can remove all of the grain and uh, little artifacts that appear here so we can go through bring up the transparency maybe bring up the pedestal maybe bring up the tolerance um, bring down the shadow and maybe um, soften the edges and then then we have something that we want now my system is going a little slow now so I'm going to bring down the quality but this is what we have now it's not perfect but it works you know if you have something you want to put behind here if you want to do some motion tracking, it's completely up to you. You can export this clip over to, uh, you know, After Effects in order to do some motion tracking or something that requires a bit more work. But for now, we're just going to be dealing with the keying. And then now we got the shirt. Now, some of you might think that keying the shirt would also key out the background as well. Not really. And that's mostly because of the shade of green. Now this shade of green right here is much darker than this shade of green. So keying this background out is going to be a non-issue. Now let's put something behind this little hole here we got. So I'm going to create a new color mat. Now, now let's pick a color. So I'm going to go with a dark red. 
I'm gonna call this just I'm gonna I'm gonna call this red. I'm gonna add it down here. So that's what we have. Now it's not really clean. You can see some issues with the key here. But we can still, you know, tweak this in order to get something we really want. So now let's go for the key of the shirt. So let's bring in the ultra key. Now when you key the shirt, also the background that we've created here, the red background, you know, shows up in the shirt and we don't want that. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to nest the sequence. We're going to undo all this. We're going to nest the sequence. And then now we can key out the green here. Let's go for the shirt right now. And um, let's bring the transparency all the way up to 100. Now let's bring the tolerance down to zero. Let's bring the pedestal up to 100. Now that we keyed out the shirt, you can see that the green behind him is a little bit different than the original green. And if you turn this off, you can see. So what we're going to do, we're going to try keying out the background first. Now when we do that, let's reset everything here. So we're going to bring down the tolerance. We're going to bring up the shadow. Maybe bring it up to 70% is good. We are going to, let, let's go to the alpha channel to see what we have. So let's get back to the composite view. And let's put something behind him. So let's put a video. Uh, let's unlink it from the audio and delete it. We're just going to put some footage behind it. And um, let's bring up the size of this thing so we can feel like we're somewhere. Let's reposition this. Okay. So we got some footage behind it. Now let's bring up the size. And there we have something behind him. Now of course the green screen can be better because we still got artifacts here. And that's completely fine because you don't see much of it. So we can do away with that by just masking that out because we don't need this top area anyway. You don't have to deal with animating your mask for the most part. Now you might have to avoid his head because you don't want his head actually cutting off at the mask. But outside of that, you should be fine. So let's invert the mask. Now if you go through this, his head doesn't cut off because the mask is... Okay, actually it does. Now we can animate this mask. Let's see. Because the mask is doing fine up until here. So let's go all the way back to the beginning. And we're going to just keyframe this. Move all the way to the front. Maybe add an extra point And bring it up slightly. Okay. So now, yeah, there we go. So now we have my little short film teaser playing in the background. Okay, I'm going to cut this off. So Okay, so now we got the footage playing behind him. Now for the shirt. Let's nest this sequence. So a lot of this is just repetition. Let's call the sequence final sequence. Let's go back to the effects. Let's add another ultra key. Now we're going to key out the shirt. Now this time I'm not going to add any 
a specific color to this because it, it does look a little bit wonky when you try to just throw a color behind this key because right now all of this black right here is transparent so let's just give it a try so I can show you what I mean I'm going to put the red color mat as you can see it looks a little bit strange even if I change the colors so let's go with a purple It doesn't quite look right. And the reason why the red here changed when I assigned the purple to it, I was changing the color mat that I used before. So when you make changes to this color mat, it changes everything. It changes the color of the color mat across the board in all sequences. So please don't get confused. Now with this, we're not going to add a color behind him. We're just going to bring down the transparency. And we're going to just be okay with this color right here. Let's go to alpha channel to see if we're losing anything. Okay, we're fine. Maybe bring down the tolerance or bring it up depending on what you want. And I don't see much change. So I'm just going to keep it at zero. I'm going to bring up... I'm going to bring down the shadows, maybe bring down the highlights, maybe bring up the pedestal, and uh, bring up the contrast. Okay, so that's what we have. Now, we have some issues with this key right here. So let's jump into the sequence. Let's go into the nested sequence and uh, hmm. Yeah, so what is the issue? Oh, all we had to do was bring up the pedestal. Just make sure you're not affecting the subject's shirt and there we have it. We have three sets of green screen. Let's go back to the other sequence. Okay, so we changed the footage entirely because we had three colors. We had the purple, which this wasn't exactly keyed out. I mean, it was after the fact, but it wasn't. It was masked, then keyed out because this color was too uh, reminiscent of this one right here, of the color we had here. So now that we separated this from this then now we can key this and have it and treat it as its own um, character and then we can manipulate everything else accordingly so there we have it now this is something really basic now we get some weird results once he puts it down so I'm just going to clip this out so that's what we got Now let's finish up the key here. Now let's go into the sequence. Let's go into this one here too. And let's mess with this. Now the solution might just be to bring up the pedestal, but it's already at 100%. Let's try bringing up the, oh. Uh, okay, well you can't bring up the transparency that high, so let's bring it up to 50%. Now that's a little too much. Maybe, oh. We can key the dark area and we can bring down the highlights because that's what's giving us this gray um, this gray highlight and there we have it now this isn't the cleanest key you'll ever see but but it'll do it for right now so let's get back to the main sequence and You know, that's about it. Now, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And, uh, bye.